So, um, Hafsa, what kind of things are you going to ask me? And let's get into the video. So, we're going to start off with our base first. So, I am don't usually use a primer. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to spray myself with the Revolution Glass Glow Fix. The Ultimate Glow Dewy Fixing Spray. So, I just like to do this before. Only because I don't use a primer. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I normally use a primer, so I'm going to use the Re Revolution Hydrate Primer. I'm just going to prime all my face. So, Huffs, what have you got in mind that you want to okay, ask me so today? Hey, What's your favourite colour? My favourite colour... Is it purple? It is purple. Mm. Kindly enough, it is. It's pink. I remember. Um, five years ago. Yeah, um, my favorite color is purple. So I'm just going in with the NARS tinted glow booster because I like a bit of a dewy look. And I'm going in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. So I just put a few pumps onto here, like that, and then that's enough to cover my whole face. Hopefully, so I just like to. I wish I got powder. And I'm going to be using powder because I don't really um, use foundation. So I'm just going to powder my face. But first, I'm going to use the same thing that my auntie's going to give me in a minute. This is the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in the shade Medium. Because there's only like light, medium, dark. So we've got medium. I'm just going to use. Same brand. Oh, didn't you use bleach pen? Oh yeah, I use. Oh, no, I use this one. So the other day we went to the shops and we bought uh, these beauty blenders and they're really good. They're like the Real Techniques brushes. Uh, Why are sponges. they called? These ones are called the Urban. I don't know. Urban went... Urban Studio. That's what they're called. Oh okay. Cause I don't know. Yeah, because I remember when I op when we were opening them. I'm just gonna put this on. So with this tinted moisturizer booster, which is from NARS, you just really, really need the little bit, and the little bit, and it really does go such a long way. And can you see that really color glow, which is on my face? And I really, really like it because obviously I have two girls, so obviously I don't do makeup every day. So I just chuck this on, and it's ready, good to go for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in put on my foundation. So I've got the Revlon Colour Stay foundation which is the colour 340 Early Tan and I'm just going to put that on my beauty, blend, my beauty blender. So what I like to do is I like to spritz this with my fixing spray. Oops, one direction. <laughs> Sorry, have since okay. <laughs> so, what are the next questions you've got for me? Uh, who do you like more, me or my brother? Mm. Or Eunice, my other brother? Eunice. Only because he's so cute. Oh yeah, he is. And he's just, he's just to die for. Yeah, he's really funny as well. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my face, as you can see, and I'm just going to use my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, go on then. And I'm going to be using this uh, powder as a translucent powder, and it's in the shade, I don't think there is a shade. It's just um. A translucent powder. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm just gonna have a chew it as well. And I'm gonna use like this brush that I use. I don't know which brush. How is this one? Hmm? No, I use this one. No, actually, I'm gonna use the same beauty blender. That I used um, to put the thingy, the shiny thingy, whatever. What's it called? 
the nice shimmer glow thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't need that much on. I'm just gonna use this um mirror. So what I like to do, I like to take the foundation down my neck as well, only because I like to have it all matched in. Because that's the worst thing you want, is having it dark here and then light there. Forget this off. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use and put my concealer on. So... The concealer I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Age Rewinding Concealer. So as you can tell, it is nearly, nearly finished. So I do really need to get a new one, but I love this. And I've got this in the colour... Hmm. What colour is it? It's faded off. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's gone. I think because it's, it's faded color. off, but I think it's um fair or light. One of the two. I think. So what else have you got lined up for me then, Huff? Um, who do you find annoying? Your daughters or your husband? Definitely my husband. Mm, yeah, I thought so. Who would want to find your daughters annoying? Like Mary, because she's like a baby. And she doesn't know what to say sometimes because mm. she can't speak. Um, do you, what's your favourite season? Like, do you like summer or... <laughs> <laughs> I bet too much on. Um, what's your favourite season? Mm. I don't really have a favourite season to be honest. Do you like summer or winter? Mm. Yeah, I have a few, but honestly, I don't have a favourite. Um. Okay. When is your birthday? Is it the the 16th. So my birthday is the 17th of January. Oh, I was close. That's Icy Popple's birthday, 16th. Yeah. That's why I always get mixed up. Because my other auntie is a day before. So I always get confused. Um, mm. Now, I'm actually going to... Um, put some blush on because I do very like simple makeup whenever I do it so I'm gonna use this I heart I heart revolution kind matte blush god that sweet is so sour isn't I it? know this chew it it's really sour and the heartbreaker so it looks like that um, and I'm gonna use Where's that brush gone? Where's it gone? Wait. Oh, this one. I'm using a Spectrum A4 brush. I was going to put a little bit on. So my face looks something like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finally powder myself. There you go. So I need my translucent powder and this powder is such a good powder. It's the Laurier Laura Laura Mercier powder. And honest to God, it's such an amazing powder. Such an amazing powder. There's just no words to describe um how good it is. The more you describe how good it is, it's just Holy grail, it's basically. Very, good. very, very, very good. It's actually really good, guys. Like, even though I'm a much darker skin colour than my aunt, it still, like, matches my skin. So, it matches, like, anyone's skin tone. See, that's the good thing about it. it, that it um, and it's not very, um, it's not very messy either. So, I just like to powder underneath my eyes only because I don't like them creased and so my brush is done I think I put too much on so I might just um go back with the um powder and just like um 
powder a little bit where I've gone too much because it's very pink pigmented um blush like it's very pigmented like my brush is like bright pink now so I'm just gonna go back and then I just go ahead and I just powder where my jawline is so just underneath my jawline I'm gonna go back in with the powder I'm and then gonna... I'm just gonna leave that on now and then I'm just gonna go and do my bronzer. Okay. I need to. I'm just gonna um, re like powder where I've done too much of the blusher because I don't really like that much blusher because I don't know I just don't really like it. So I'm taking in. I'm using my H and M bronzer as you can tell it is broken. Oh yeah. And um, I've had this for about I think about two years now. I have ordered myself a new um, bronzer, and it's the Benefit Hula bronzer. It is, and it's a really good and bronzer. It's really, really good because I have it and it's really good. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna bronze up my face. So I'm just gonna put that back and I'm gonna. After my aunt, I'm gonna bronzer as well. So I'm just gonna put that back. Do you wanna sweep? Okay. Well, I've stuck to that here. Yeah, well, now once I've just contoured my yeah. face in a little. So obviously, with this, you just need the slightest bit and it goes to the long way. So guys, I'm back um, after having my, do my eyes, well, my eyebrows, shall I say. And I've just gone in and I've just done one um, eye for, um, to I start think. off. And I'm just going to show you how I do the other eye on my other eye. So I'm using the Soph um, X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. And I'm going in with the, the colour which is Chocolate Orange. And I've got a GWA um, brush and I'm just putting that in and then I'm just rubbing that over all over my eye and I've already done this eye so I've done I used the for like the cut crease I used a mix of cheesecake and if I can open it henna so I like mixed them there so i mixed them and then for like the glitter i used from the same palette rose gold and 24k and i kind of like mix them together like how that's done so that i've just done with chocolate orange and now i'm going to go in with my um detailing brush detailer brush and then i'm going to dip it in the uh, colour which is LA Sun so it's like a nice goldy shimmery um glittery shade and I'm just gonna spritz my um brush first because that's a really good technique way of how to get the glitter on your eye so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna be using the GWA London um highlighter palette I'm gonna be using rose gold like the shade rose gold i'm just gonna go in with my into my inner corner like that check pops and then i'm gonna do the same for the other eye oh wait i haven't done that other eye yet so i'm gonna start with the other eye and i'm gonna show you how i did it so i am gonna be using the Oh, I'm going to be using a GWA London brush, which is like quite a big one. And I'm going to be using a cheesecake, like I told you. Add a little bit, because it's, it's very pigmented. And then I'm just going to go in, use my Huda Beauty palette to... Do the same as I did on this eye. So let me show you guys. Do you prefer living if you could go anywhere 
in the world to live, where would you go? Um, oh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah, because like, there's lots of places where I want to go. Well, well where, where we want to go, because we both want to go to Malaysia. Uh, yeah, I would say um, Malaysia, somewhere warm. Yeah, something like Hawaii or Maldives. Um, okay. What other Q&A questions should I do? Um, what do you like doing? Like, what are your hobbies? What do you like doing just um, like generally? I like doing makeup, as you can see. Yeah, I yeah. like baking. I like cooking. Yeah. And, um just a bit of everything to be honest with you and so that's the final look on my eye so i just took that cookie co the cookie um not cookie sorry the orange chocolate orange and i just put that underneath the bottom of my eyes so i think i'm just going to leave it as there and i'm not going to take too much because obviously that is too much for me as well so um i really really like it so um, oh, there what is. I'm going to do is I'm going to first have a sweet so we've got these fizzy bulbum flavour laces from Tesco and they're really really nice Crazy. and I'm going to be going in with this brush and now I'm going to be putting on my oh, mascara and eyeliner and things like that <coughs> and I'm going in first with 24k i'm just gonna be doing on the out a bit and then with rose gold on the inner bit like by right there so i'm just gonna start off with 24k and just start like going in with it by the way she's better than me doing eyes I've only been doing makeup for Just to put years. that out, she's better at doing eyes than me. So, yeah, but um, you've been doing makeup longer. Yeah, but still. Yeah, I've only been doing it for like a year. Yeah. You're yeah, still better than me, though. Yeah, I am. I'm good, I must be. I'm going to go in with my MAC mascara and I'm just going to put that on my eyelashes. And sometimes I use my fingers because sometimes the brush doesn't pick up as much pigment as your finger does. So once I've done like that, I'm going to then use like a brush like this. I'm just going to like blend it together so it doesn't look like there's two shades just like plonk. So I want it to make sure that it looks even and more symmetrical. And then I'm going to go back in with the GWA highlighter palette and yeah, I'm going to use the shade Rose Gold. And what brush did I use? I actually forgot. I think it was this one. No. I got a highlighting brush. Though. No, I'm just going to... This one. Yeah, it was this one, I think. So that's how my eyelashes are currently looking. And I really, really like this mascara because it doesn't cramp them up. And they just love, are they just lovely? And I just, they loved this mascara. It makes my eyelashes really separated, which I like, so I don't like them too clumpy. And I'm just gonna be using the um, rose gold shade back in the inner of my eyes, to the outer bit of my eyes. And I'm just going in with my French Connection um, black eyeliner, and I'm just gonna do my waterline with this, like that. Kind like of pops out like the whole look, and then I'm gonna be using. Where's the mascara gone? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and I'm gonna be using the same one as my auntie did, the Maybelline, um, last sensational, um, mascara. I normally use like lots of Make Revolution stuff because I love a bit of good Revolution, but I've never actually tried this one before. So I'm quite curious to see how it will turn out. So that's how my eyes are 
that's how my eyes are looking when they're finished i can't even speak today um but yeah i'm really really happy with it and the last thing i need to do now is my blush lipstick spritzer spray and highlighter so let's go in with the um blush Oh, oh, yeah. I'm just going with my Ted Baker brush and I'm going in with my Ted Baker blush which I love which I have touched pan on already. and this is um oh it doesn't have a shade on there so it I can't really tell you but that's how it looks and it's just adorable so you just need the little bit because this is such a lovely colour So then my eyelashes done. And I actually really like this because like my revolution one, it separates them, which I like a lot. So they don't look really like clumpy and like I don't really like clump clumpy eyelashes, I like them separated. And I am gonna be finishing off with highlighter and a little bit of lipstick slash lip balm. So I'm gonna be using where's it gone? the GWA the same palette that I was using it's a bit like we yeah, I've had this for a long time so it's a bit like like the colors are gone everywhere but it's fine it does the job and I'm gonna be using where's the highlight brush what highlight brush for you? I'm gonna be using this GWA highlight brush and I'm just gonna be using so that's how my cheeks are looking yeah. with that so it's just like a really really nice subtle um uh color and obviously if you want a bit more tense and stuff like that then obviously you dip a bit more harder and then you have more product so that's how it is so with the blush i just put a little bit on my nose and on my chin and good to go and now i'm just gonna go in and do my lipstick so i don't really do anything special i just go in with my mac um twig this lipstick as you can see it's nearly finished because it is a well loved lipstick and it's just that perfect nudie bis um, lipstick like a biscuit <laughs> um, so yeah and I'm going to be mixing in with rose gold and like this like pomegranate shade and I'm just going to like rub it off and then what I like to do is I like to put a little bit like on with the brush like that so it just it isn't it's not blended yet and then i like to go in with like a beauty blender and i could blend it so like that i don't really know if you can see it that well but it looks actually really nice like i actually really like it now i might just go in a bit with like the black with the beauty blender so that's how my lips look so i don't um line my lips with a lip liner i don't do any of those things only because i just feel like if this makes my lips a bit more unstraight and they just look a bit more bigger than what they are so these are my natural lips and i just like just putting lipstick on and just leaving it like that so that's that and that's that for me i am going to put a little bit of highlighter on yeah yeah and that's the last bit so have, so have you got anything else that you want to ask me before we um, wrap up yes. this video um what was your best memory of 29 no from 2020 2015 to 2015 having my kids yeah and getting married yeah yeah because <laughs> you got married 2015 um what was your um how did you feel um coming back to cardiff after you've been in pakistan for like six months or nearly a year actually um it was nice but um quite different. quite different yeah and quite a um i'm gonna spritz myself with some glass glow fix it was different 
it's different it was yeah. quite a big, big struggle because obviously i was like there in pakistan with my in-laws and with my husband and then i was coming back here but i wasn't settled so you know i was obviously in two places all the time so um yeah but i was just happy coming back and with just what it was i was just happy with it really because obviously i knew that one day my husband was gonna come here so that's that yeah. really to be honest so you um, just you just gotta be positive and you just gotta keep going i think so that's that really i'm gonna last to top up on the blueberry um lip plumper I don't really use like lipsticks and stuff because I'm not really into that. I'm just gonna put some on. Are you a tomboy or a girly girl? I'm a girly girl. Yeah, well, am I? You're a tomboy, mate. Yeah, I am. Like, if you can't tell, well, she's on a jumper, but she never really wears. No, she I wears don't joggers, really. but she wears like pajama bottoms and like what, like nice bottoms. Yeah. I wear like. Adidas bottoms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like everyone, everyone in my family knows that. Me and my brothers are known for wearing track suits. Like that's just like I never wear dresses. I have to be forced to wear dresses. But and like even if I go to weddings, I don't wear high heels or wear trainers. I do remember when I wore trainers to that wedding mm -hmm. in December. I stopped that. Yeah, I wore trainers. So, um, yeah, that's my um, eye look and eye makeup done. My whole makeup, actually. So I'm just going to spit this off. There we go. And that's that. So, guys, I hope you really like this video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed having my niece on my channel. And um, if you would like to see more videos with her, then please give this video a subscribe, give it a like, give it a comment and I will see you on my next video. So bye. Bye guys. Bye.